Anyway, with 153.8 pounds of sweet potatoes, I had to figure out some way to cure them. And you need higher temperatures and high humidity to cure them. And, you know, that's not going to be happening now that fall is here. So I had this old shelf unit that was a 36 by 18 shelf that luckily the arms on it um, screwed apart. And I got two three foot high shelves here and I had five uh, wire shelves. So I'll have good ventilation and I put it in the grow tent on that little platform I had built. Um, up there is a smart thing sensor that I'm using to control the temperature of it. That's going to turn on and off a smart thing switch with a heater hook to it so I can, you know, control that. And then I've got three fans that I'll be running in it all the time to keep condensation from building up on the walls. And I'm going to, first thing I'm doing is I'm carrying down all the sweet potatoes and loading them up. Um, I'm just going to put them on the shelves and everything I've read said try to keep them from touching when you're curing them. So I'm just spreading them out there and uh, I'm not sure how this is going to work but I, I think it should work good. Um, it's a sealed chamber that I can control the environment in. So there they are, 100, almost 154 pounds of sweet potatoes piled in there. Now from what I understand you need to do a 10 day cure on them at high temp and humidity and then you need to do a 10 day cure at cooler temp so this is a start and I put all the small ones on the bottom and the tiny ones I just put in some ventilated bins down there to you know get going and as I said I've got three fans in there blowing to keep the heat circulating so condensation doesn't build up on the walls because it's cold outside and a little 200 watt ceramic heater that we had laying around that I'm using uh, that's controlled by the smart things so that should uh, keep the temperature constant and also, um, you know, I can watch the temperature from anywhere in the house on my smartphone. So there it is. Uh, I hope it works out. We'll see in about 10 days. And there's the smart plug that I'm using. It's just a, um, just a uh, you know, one of the standard ones. It's a Sylvania Zigbee plug that I use. And these are pretty reliable. And there's a little heater I had. It's a little 200 watt ceramic heater that I think should be good. So I... I took and I, I started out and uh, the temperature, the, actually the humidity and temperature started rising in here already because of bringing these down from upstairs. So it's at 75% humidity and 70 degrees. And here we are a couple hours later, 86% humidity and I've got it up to 79 degrees. Um, so it looks like it's going to take a while, but you can see it's really steamy in there now, so I think it's really going to work. And I did put that plate of water in there that I forgot to mention to keep the humidity up. And feeling the outside of the thing, it's, uh, you know, it's completely cool, so I really think this grow tent is going to work good. And, you know, I'm going to monitor it over the next 10 days, and I'll let you know what happens. Hopefully this curing process will harden the skins off and, uh, you know, heal the cracks and stuff and actually uh, turn the starches in them to sugars, making them real sweet. So we'll find out. Um, this is my first time, so, you know, I'm just trying this now and I'm not sure exactly how it's going to work at this point in time, but I think it looks like it will. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.